how to enable APM for MySQL database. Uh, so that we can see here, go to APM section, then go to database monitoring. Once come here, there is no database monitoring in place now. So we'll try to add a DB host. So they are giving a uh, uh, guidance. So we are going to follow the same guidance and especially MySQL setup on their guidance, some steps are missing, especially the privilege one. So we will see, we will, uh, while doing uh, on the spot, we'll see the troubleshoot. And this time I'm going to use uh, chat GPT to uh, troubleshoot this one. So at the same time, we can see whether chat GPT can help to do that one. And um, we will do the troubleshoot part also. So we are going for MySQL here. And uh, in our case, MySQL 8 is the one we are using, the latest version. So in this step, they are telling we have to create a Datadog user. So we simply going to follow the step and see whether that is uh, working for working here, right? So I log into MySQL, the local one in a AWS instance. Then uh, that is a root account. So if I actually use the root account, then it will work. But as they suggested, if you use a dedicated account, uh, there is a problem. So we'll see how to troubleshoot. First, we are creating the user. So password also, I'm going to put uh, data doc. the user with max connection right so other steps i will follow as they suggest simply yeah it's additional column So create data doc user part is done now create schema we will do so they are trying to create a, a dummy schema with the temp tables i already have a schema that's good to point to existing schema but anyhow we will follow the step since it's an experiment So I have uh, actually active uh, database, but still we will follow uh, what they are suggesting. It doesn't have clear command. So create schema data doc. So for data doc user, we are assigning the schema with privileges. So temporary table they are creating. So data doc DB is available, and uh, now we are going to create um, a stall procedure uh, to explain a statement. So just I am following as it is. Okay, they are telling you when to collect from other schemas, so we create it. It's not finishing.
this time I'm granting, uh, I'm creating the stop procedure with uh, uh, my real DB. Yeah. For some reason it's not exiting. We'll see how to exit this one, how to exit from my SQL console. So these are the practicality when we try to do some abnormal thing will come. So I'll go through that is a problem. We can see right, uh, we apply the multi-line uh, stop procedure and it end up looking for more and more lines, not terminating. Uh, we'll see. Okay, now in exit mode, um, we'll see whether we have to run the same command again. So first thing is uh, restore procedure. already exists so they created anyhow uh, we'll see this one also so the second one was not created so we done that one the first one was created anyhow now it is in exit state so this time chat gpt didn't help um, Next thing is delimiter. Okay, so we had to configure the agent. So we know the password was uh, Datadog, uh, username also Datadog, and we are running in the local first. So this is a config we had to put. So possibly they will have a YAML file already in place. We only have to duplicate and use it. So their location is config D. Conti will be having the uh, sample of uh, all the modules. So So there will be something called mysql d or my my d or something will be so we'll see mysql d is there so this is supposed to have a sample config yes template is there so we are going to duplicate this template as it is then uh, apply the ownership also we have to apply so we'll see MB. So from the example, we are moving to uh, the YAML file. Uh, let's see the permissions. So they have same permissions, so no issue. No BI, 
path right so they have already the configurations we are going to we can use it or we can replace it so let's see what to do instances host okay so this is a lengthy one so rather we will go with uh, our config file simply what we have to do copy this and apply the password so after apply the password wipe out the existing uh, script so no point of we duplicate that one um, and replace with a new one uh, after applying this save it and then restart it so we done that one so we have to restart now so So actually I'm just checking for the older restart command. This is simply system CTF and the restart command. So we restarted. It will of course take some time for um, starting the agent then gathering the uh, details then uh, feeding it to the um, data doc uh, server. So it should it could be five minutes or ten minutes. By that time uh, that should uh, that uh, data should appear here. But meanwhile if there is a problem on gathering the data and sending or privilege reasons are there the error will be shown here uh, same time the agent also will show the error but uh, normally they used to show here as well but uh, fortunately it is working now so we don't have a, a troubleshoot problem now now you can see all the apm information came and the mysql is feeding the data so they were telling link with our APM. So that is the application APM. So this is how we configure the MySQL um, or any DB. Normally MySQL is in with the uh, data doc uh, uh, monitoring. So this is this is going to do uh, this is going to do a monitoring on uh, matrices which can be extracted using MySQL queries. We need to run a query and get some information those are the things they will approach through this particular deployment it have more details but uh, in this video we are looking for very basic thing the more details available here like how to onboard the logs of mysql uh, those privileges how to monitor like uh, kind of multiple uh, dbs multiple things so those kind of things they are mentioning so we can follow this and see how it works so that's all on this video